Hi everyone, welcome back to Around the House in 80 Days. It's Thursday, 12th of November, 1pm and we're going to have a kitchen caper se session uh, here in my kitchen. Usual health and safety notices to start with. Please be mindful of your own health and safety, your own health conditions, your abilities, capabilities, what is suitable or comfortable for you. I'll show seated and standing options and it's up to yourself which one you choose to participate in. You could do a mixture, mixture of both, eh, whatever suits you the best. Make sure you get a nice clear area round about your feet so you don't fall over anything. Eh, get the cats, dogs, hamsters, budgies, everything out the road um, so you're safe to move about a wee bit. And the comfortable footwear, the suitable footwear. Make sure you've got good supportive shoes on, eh, get those slippers in the cupboard, you can wear them at bedtime. We'll get started right away with our warm up, we're going to do some marching, lovely tall posture, you can do it seated or standing, or a mixture of both, whatever suits you best, nice and tall, shoulders back, tummy tucked in, that imaginary thread taking your head up to the ceiling, and then gradually bringing in your arms and we've spent quite a lot of time in our legs over the past couple of weeks we're nearly at the end of week two can't believe that already uh, and all the movements that we're doing it all kind of stacks up it all mounts up it's all time in our legs all good movement for all these joints and muscles so well done everyone if you've been joining in for the movement sessions a wee crop beside me today. I've got a glass of water and that's just a wee reminder uh, to drink more. Majority of older people just do not drink enough and there's a lot of reasons for that sometimes if you're on maybe tablets that make you run to the loo you don't want to drink too much or if you have difficulty getting out your chair you know and getting to the loo or getting to the loo in time. All reasons for maybe not drinking enough, but it's important that we try and get between two and three litres of fluid, preferably clear water, because that your, saves your body having to process out all the milk and sugar and stuff like that. I drink a load of tea and coffee for myself, but I try and factor in maybe four or five glasses of water a day. So that's a wee reminder of that. Again, circulation booster, getting our blood flowing to all the important parts of our body, getting us a wee bit warmer, getting those muscles a wee bit warmer, and just also stacking up on our endurance, the amount of time that we're spending in our legs. All good, it will, it will, it will all kick into place, I'm telling you. Lovely. That's, that's certainly me all nice and loose and warm. Hope you are too. First movement that we're going to do today, I need, need a wee prop here along. We're going to do some upper back, some work on our upper back, which is so important for breathing, that we have good back muscles in our upper back, but also for our posture. So I'm going to sit down and do this one. And I've got a dish towel. If you've got a dish towel, you can do the same. Or if you've got one of those stretchy bands for the exercises, they are absolutely perfect. So we're sitting nice and tall, feet facing forward. We're going to scoop up that dish towel into our hands. Get our hands a wee bit closer together. Nice straight back. And just pull your hands apart. Just hold that there. Feel a bit of tension on there. Hold it for a couple of seconds. And then we're going to draw that right into our chest and feel our back muscles going into action there and hold it there for about five seconds. Remember to keep breathing and I think that's our five and we'll release. We're going to do four of those. So again, lift up your towel or your band, pull your hands apart, get a bit of tension on there and draw those elbows back and keep breathing and hold for five. Oh, 
Ooh, lovely. We we rest for a minute. We'll go for number three. Lift up your tea towel or your band. Pull your hands apart. Feel a bit of tension. Hope you've got a good strong dish towel where you'll be ripping it in bits. And move those elbows back in the dish towel and towards your chest. Lovely straight back and hold. Lovely. And a wee rest again. And we'll go for number four. Pull them apart. Good bit of tension on there. Draw your tea towel into your chest and hold. And relax. And that's a great one for helping us with our posture. It's so easy just to kind of slump forward when we're sitting. So just if our muscles are stronger there, it means we'll find it easier to sit back in our chair. Next movement we're going to do, we're going to do a thigh stretch, a hamstring stretch. So we just do that seated as well. Feet flat on the floor, facing forwards, feet facing forwards. Put one leg out straight, bend your other leg. Two hands on the bent leg and just deep breath in, nice straight back and lean forward and put some pressure on that knee and feel a beautiful stretch at the back of that thigh. Lovely. And we'll do the same on the other leg. Bent leg. Leg straight out in front. Heel on the floor. Hands on the bent leg. Deep breath. Straight back and lean forward. And feel that lovely stretch at the back of your thigh. Lovely. Our last movement for the kitchen caper session is a bit of a fun one. Uh, we're going to do some hip circles. So we're standing nice and tall. Feet probably about hip width apart. And we're just going to rotate our hips round. So we're going to do, I'll do stand on the side there, it might be easier to see. So slide out to the side and round to the back and back in. Slide to the side, round to the back and back in. It's like a capital D, a letter D. And we're going to do eight if you can on one side. And we're going to do eight on the other side. And if you need your support, have your support near at hand in case you want to hold on. What I want you to do is I want you to imagine you're a washing machine. And we're on the spin cycle. So do what you like with your hands. Do this as fast or as slow as you like. And this is brilliant for loosening up those kind of hip joints. Just our trunk too, getting a wee bit of twist in there. Lovely. Just do the same if you're sitting. You can be a sitting down washing machine, no bother at all. Get those hands, just move your weight from one butt cheek to the other. And depending on how fast your spin cycles on, the faster you can go. Lovely. And keep breathing and keep smiling. Well, that's our kitchen caper session over for today. Uh, I hope you've been able to join in and I hope you've enjoyed it. We we'll just do a wee cool down march, just a few more wee steps, just to get us ready for the afternoon. If you've got any comments or feedback in the session, please leave us those. Um, really helpful for us to know what is working for you or maybe what's not working for you, you know, so we don't know if you don't tell us. Or if you do quite like it, click on the wee like icon uh, on the, under the video. So I hope you've got a lovely afternoon planned. Not quite sure what I'm up to this afternoon. I need to get myself tidied up here first of all and then I'll give it some thought. But thanks for tuning in. Have a lovely day.
and we'll look forward to seeing you again at four o'clock. Bye.